Hi, I'm George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video we'll continue to solve equations by using U substitutions. In particular, in this video, I'm going to use the substitution U equals X to the one-third power. We'll use this substitution whenever we see an equation of this form, X to the two-thirds power plus 8X to the one-third power plus 12 equals 0, where we have one term containing x to the two-thirds power, one term containing x to the one-third power, and the rest of the terms are constants. Let's take a look at this in action. Here we have our x to the two-thirds power and x to the one-third power. We'll let u equal x to the one-third power. If I square u, x to the one-third to the second power multiplying gives me x to the two-thirds power. So I can replace x to the two-thirds by u squared. I can replace x to the one-third power by u. And now I have a quadratic equation in the variable u. Again, if you can't fact, I've tried to choose examples where you can factor. But if you can't factor this quickly, you can still use the quadratic equation to solve for u. Uh, this is u plus 8 times u plus 1 equals 0. Uh, if u plus 8 equals 0, then I know that u is equal to negative 8 by subtracting 8 on both sides. If u plus 1 is equal to 0, I know that u is equal to negative 1 by subtracting 1 on both sides. All right, let's unsubstitute, if that is indeed a word. I'm going to put in x to the one-third power where I have u. So x to the one-third power equals negative 8. I don't want x to the one-third. I want x to the first power, or just x. I can get rid of the one-third by raising the left side to the third power, and I need to do the same on the right-hand side. By the way, since we're raising both sides to an odd power, uh, we don't have to check our solutions for extraneous roots. Negative 8 to the third power is negative 512. All right, let's try it with the other one. x to the one-third power equals negative 1. Raise both sides to the third power. Negative 1 to the third power remains negative 1. So our solution set, negative 512, comma, negative 1. Let's try another one. Same idea. x to the two-thirds, x to the one-third, and a constant term. We're going to let u equal x to the one-third power, and u squared can replace x to the two-thirds power. u squared minus 4u minus 12 equals 0. Factorable again, u plus 2 times u minus 6 equals 0. Break that into two linear equations that we can solve. u equals negative 2, or u equals 6. Uh, let's put x to the 1 third back in for u. So x to the 1 third equals negative 2. Raise both sides to the third power and I get x equals negative 8. Uh, for the other one, x to the one-third power equals 6. Raise both sides to the third power, and 6 to the third power is 216. So our solution set here, negative 8, comma, 216. All right, so if you have any questions or comments on this video or this topic, or if you have a request for a different video that I can put together for you on YouTube, you can reach me through the contact page on my website, and that address is georgewoodbury.com. Thanks for watching, and good luck with this.